Alright, what's up guys? It's Kai here from San Angelo. And uh, I posted a question about what tip you guys want to do next. And uh, you, a lot of you guys have the sumo deadlifts. So let's go. Um, here's my set, guys. It's my deload week. That's 315 here. And the first thing I can tell you guys is get a good stance. Um, a lot of people don't have a good stance and uh, kind of get uncomfortable with the sumo deadlifts. So make sure you have a wide enough stance. Make sure your foot is facing outwards and a little uh, angle, as you can see right there. Uh, make sure you guys grip the bar. Um, the grip of the bar is you want to kind of have your shoulder width apart or a little closer will be fine. But one thing you don't want to do is uh, have your hands all the way inside and just touching each other palm to palm. That's something you don't want to do. Another thing is you want to keep your spine, your lower back guys, nice and tight. Um, it's okay for your upper back to round a little bit as the weight gets heavier. However, you don't want that lower back to be rounding at all. So that's another thing. And a big one that I can give you guys a tip out there is basically keep your hips open, just like the squat itself. During the sumo deadlifts, you want to keep your hips open because the last thing you want to do is for your knees to cave in. And as soon as you start closing your hips, those knees will cave in and that's just asking for injury, so you don't want that. Here's another angle, guys, um, to show you guys the sumo deadlifts. Another tip I can give you guys is definitely make sure that your hips does not rise faster than your pull, if you know what I mean. Um, right there, that was pretty good. But if you can see here, right there, my hips and the pull kind of shoots at the same time. Um, the biggest mistake that I've seen in the gym with deadlifts from a lot of people is that their hips tend to rise first, and then everything else is pulled with their back. That is something you don't want to do, guys, because that is asking for the lower back to just snap right off. So make sure your hips and your pull shoot up at the same time. Here's a better view right here. Um, 225, I went back down the set. Uh, here we go, get a good setup. My feet is well apart. I got a good grip on the bar. Hips are open right there. Hips and the pull at the same time. And make sure as soon as you guys get the bar off the ground, make sure you keep thinking hips, 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 hips. I can't emphasize enough on that. You want your hips to shoot right into the front so that you can get that weight up there. And I hope this helps you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.